Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Thursday, August 4th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple of clarification points. Number one, this price you see over here will be changing around. And then that candlestick right there you see will be moving around. That is because the market is still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. But everything I do talk about will still be relevant as we head into Thursday because the market's you know very close to being done for the day anyhow. And then next, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, which means each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock, stock number one here, SOFI. And this is exactly why I like to do these videos when the market is still open, because check out the last 30 minutes right here. Very nice breakout is underway, which leads to the first dynamic and really the for, you know the entire idea about a watch list is to find unique, to find interesting situations and not randomly rush out and buy anything, but to watch them and see if they behave in a way that fits your personal strategy. And this is what I would definitely call a unique and an interesting situation. What's so interesting about it? Well, we have ourselves a good late day breakout. Had this trend line right here. So yes, if you are a breakout player, then yeah, technically speaking, you've already missed the breakout. But that doesn't mean that this thing could continue to break out and potentially give you more setups. But again, circling back to the idea of a watch list, the fact that it's breaking out in and of itself is worthy of getting on a watch, just continue to, to monitor it and see if it behaves in a way that gives you any sort of setup. Now, if you are somebody that likes to play more so pullbacks, then there's a potential pullback area right there at the $8 mark, so that's an interesting level. But as far as this pattern that had formed, so resistance, support, momentum move right there, put the golf foot on here, bull pennant pattern. There is now a bull pennant pattern breakout, which again leads to the question, is this the start of something much bigger? Now, maybe it's not, but that is a two-sided coin because, well, maybe it is, and this thing goes that much further. So if you like bull pennants, if you like to play breakouts, this one should definitely be on your watch list. Next one, KSPN, and very, very nice one because a little bit opposite of the other, no breakout has occurred here, but there is a very well-defined breakout point and you have well-defined breakout areas called a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can produce some very dynamic movement. So while nothing is guaranteed, my point here is just that you got to think a lot of people are watching this $7 mark, generally speaking, because that's been the area where the momentum has disappeared the previous times the price was up there. So while that, like I said, no guarantees, but is it rational to think that if the price goes up there and pushes up through seven, especially if it's a high volume break, that that break right there of seven could create more upside buying pressure. That is certainly a plausible outcome that could you know very realistically happen. Nobody could accuse you of just randomly thinking things or just not really having any sort of thought process behind your trade plan because that makes good sense because it's a breakout and you know that a bunch of people are watching that. So you can almost call it a self-fulfilling prophecy type breakout, if you will. And then along with this, we have ourselves a nice support level right there. So let me change that to green to represent more so the support area. And then as we just talked about in the previous one, keep it all one color, resistance, support, momentum move right there, put our golf hold on there. We have ourselves another bull pennant. Of course, the, the, the difference in this situation is there has not yet been a breakout. So if you like those, play those bull pennant patterns, definitely keep a close eye on this one, especially when it's proven that it can move very, very quickly. Next one, QNRX, and if this is not a unique situation, I don't know what is, but an absolutely monster, monster move to think this thing started off the day, let's just call it right around the $5 mark, and has now gone up as high as I think about $28. There is a pullback now, uh, so that just leads to the idea that if you like to play these very, very volatile stocks, uh, you better have risk management at the forefront of your mind. Uh, then you know there can be uh, there can be some solid movements here. But if you're not careful, these solid movements can certainly lead to uh, solidly, solidly wiping out any of your your trading accounts. So as far as breakout points are concerned, in my mind the key level to watch moving into Thursday from a resistance standpoint going to be that 24 mark, followed by the continuation point up there at the highs of today at 28. And then if you like to play more so the pullbacks, then a couple interesting pullback areas. First one right there at the $16 mark. And next one down there at, oh, what is that? 11.75, and if you're on your cheese clay, that, that's kind of like, that's multiple dollars between those levels. Well, yes, exactly. That circles back to the whole, these are volatile stocks. And you know, th th that's a good thing that they can move but the thing is, on the flip side is, well, yeah, that also creates big spaces between these areas. So uh, as always is the case, there's always trade-offs, there's always pros and cons. But if you are somebody that likes to play uh, explosive stocks that are very volatile, then this one should definitely be uh, worth watching. 
Next one, M-O-H-O, and I sh probably should have put this one in a different spot in the watch list because it's the same general premise that we've had. We have ourselves a very, very nice, well-defined pattern. So once again, you can bring up the whole talking point of you know self-filling prophecies, and a lot of people probably watching this dynamic, uh, but nonetheless, I'll just get it drawn here anyways. And this is a penny stock, so I know some people like to just play those stocks down below a dollar. So here you go for that. But once again, you've seen me draw it. We have our resistance. We have our support. We have the big momentum move right there. Let's put our golf hole down there. And like I said, have ourselves another bull pennant pattern. So while there are no guarantees, is it plausible to think that if the price can come up here and get a break up through the top part of that pattern, that that break could lead to more buying pressure? That's certainly a plausible outcome. Next one, ENDP, and I like this one because it's pulled back some quite a bit, which is always nice because you, you at least eliminate the worry of, oh great, am I gonna be the sucker that buys the top? Am I suffering from FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. Am I chasing the price? And you don't have that worry. The people that were suffering from FOMO and buying the tops, those are the people buying around there. No, just because it's pulled back doesn't mean that for sure guaranteed it's gonna be a winning trade. My point here is that at least removes that, you know, kind of fear, if you will, of, oh, great, am I going to be the person that buys the top? No, you're not because it's already pulled back. So if you like to play these situations that do show good, solid movement, I mean, right there, got to give credit where credit's due. Very impressive movement. So if you like to play those uh, context stocks where you're at least starting to get a pullback, then like I said, I, this one you got to like as... Once again, going back to the idea of self-filling prophecies, also very nice, well-defined tread line right there, which puts the breakout point right around, I don't know, 79, 80 cents, give or take. So keep an eye on that. And then as far as supports are concerned, you can see the pullback finally did end right down there around the 71 cent mark. So again, if you like to play these pullbacks where you know you don't have to worry about buying the top, then uh, this is worth one worth watching. And again, another penny stock for you. Wanted to quick take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training that I'm offering here very soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you wanna learn more about this tool, why it's so powerful in terms of building consistency for us as traders, then certainly get signed up for the free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you wanna take your understanding to a much more uh, you know, beneficial level, then certainly get signed up for the free training. Next one here, AMC, and a, a pretty boring chart, but I mean that as a compliment because at this point, like I said, nothing really exciting in the sense of massive, huge moves, but this thing just continues to grind higher and higher. I mean, this thing just builds higher bases after higher bases after higher bases. And if you picture those as stair steps, that is what it's all about. You know, sometimes the most healthiest moves are the ones that are boring because they just grind higher and higher. Uh, but like I said, within the, the, the big picture of things, that's what it's all about. And to uh, kind of put the explanation mark on the day, check out this last 30 minutes. Nice volume bar, good solid green candle here. In fact, I think, I don't think my eyes are deceiving me. Yeah, you're, get, you're getting a breakout right there through that, you know, former high up there around the 1810 mark. So you're getting a breakout final 30 minutes of the day. And again, why I like to do these videos when the market's still open, because we're witnessing this breakout take play right now. So that brings out, you know, another question of, you know, is this breakout the start of something much bigger, but, and it matters that this breakout is occurring. So don't get me wrong, but it almost doesn't matter because what matters the most is what I've already talked about, just building those higher bases. And as long as those higher bases continue to be built, then the uptrend will take care of itself, including eventually pushing a higher uh, level. So yeah, that don't get me wrong. Good that it's breaking out, but in all actuality, what matters the most for AMC is what's been already occurring. And that is just building those higher lows. So as long as, as, long as those stair steps continue to be built higher and higher, that is by far the most important thing. Next one, E-A-R, and I'm not going to repeat myself, but it goes along the lines of at least you can eliminate the worry of, am I the sucker that's buying the top? Absolutely not. This thing has pulled back quite a bit. Uh, in fact, for some people, maybe it's pulled back too much, but I do know that other people are thinking, well, geez, this thing isn't even close to closing the gap. So maybe this is just some sort of bigger bullish pattern that's forming, which is where this line here, and let me get this line down here. Now, I know some people would disagree with the pattern, but you know I'm just trying to convey a, a general overall idea. So we have this downwards channel here, but the key is this downwards channel is occurring after a huge move here. So if I change this all now into one color, this would be known as a bull flag pattern. So yeah, it, it's kind of rough right now because there is that bigger pullback that's occurred throughout the day, but that's just one word day. When you take a step back and look at multiple days, there is this bull pat or this bull pattern that's forming, specifically the bull flag. Uh, but I can also respect and I understand if like, no, I, I don't trust this. This seems too weak. 
fair enough. But uh, for those of you that have played bull flags, sometimes it's looking like things are rough. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, it goes up to the upside, breaks, and then gains that much more momentum. So uh, it's worth maybe keeping an eye on if you like to play these sorts of patterns. Next one here, APDN, which is I did put strategically in the watch just because, again, we had a gap up. And then we had this downwards channel basically form the rest of the day. But you did have a bull flag pattern. However, the difference here is that, let me get this in play here, is that late day, you can see that a breakout has now occurred. And this is what brings up the unique, the interesting situation and you know, throwing out the question, okay, is this breakout the start of something bigger? Now it may not be, but like I said earlier, that is a two-sided coin, so maybe it is. And that's what we wanna do as, as you know, traders is to locate unique, interesting situations and watch and see how they behave. So same exact premise of what I just talked about, downward channel, bull flag, but now you do have the breakout. So if you like to put, you know, if, if you prefer more so to see things that have already broken out, then you wanna watch for more continuation and then build a trade plan around that, then this one could definitely give you an opportunity for that. But yeah, no doubt about it. Bull flag pattern, you got the breakout. So is this the start of something even bigger? Let's see what Thursday has to offer. Next one here, TSLA Tesla, one that I trade on a almost daily basis and the level that I know I'll be watching and I think a whole lot of other people will be watching is that trend line right there. That puts the price right up there around $930, but I mean, check this out. So right there, rejected, 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 a whole bunch of data points around that idea. So by no means am I trying to impress you or imply that I have a special ability to draw that trend line. A lot of people have drawn that trend line. A lot of people will be watching $930. And as I've said, no guarantees, but is it valid to think that if the Tesla can push up here and get a high volume break of 930, that that could send this thing up to 940 and above? Yeah, I think that's a more than plausible and reasonable outcome to expect if that occurs. But again, there are no guarantees. If this thing does pull back, then the main areas of support that I'm curious about are via that trend line right there. So let me change that to green. And that puts the price down around, you know, on a sort of pullback right around $910. And then you also have that level at the purple line there. So from a shorting standpoint, I'd be very careful to, to you know, say, oh, this tread line breaks, oh, it's game over. Well, you gotta be careful because it could go down there and then find support of that 50 period and then bounce back up. And then, then your short gets, you know, snapped right back in the face. But now if the price can come down there and clear through both the tread line and the 50 period moving average, okay, things at that point begin to look way more bearish. But I, like I said, I'd caution against just automatically assuming that if that trend line's broken, the bears are back in full control because not that far away is that 50 period moving average. Next one here, PSTX. And I like this one. Well, I'm not for one reason, but the main reason right here, such a well-defined area, $5, maybe like a poor man's cup and handle here. Price came up, came back down, a little bit of a pullback. So if it gets back up there, can it push through that level with the cup and handle? and get the break of $5. That's gonna be a level that I think a lot of people will be watching. Good setup, and along with this setup, it's shown the ability to move and move very quickly. I mean, check out that 30 minute session right there. Huge move up, uh, and it was right now, at, or at that point, was looking pretty sketchy, but like I said, it did recover back up way, upwards, which created part of that cup and handle there. So it shows, and, or not necessarily shows, but it suggests that there may be some strength left in this. Um, so like I said, if it can push its way back up to $5 and get the break up through there, uh, to me, that's a very interesting scenario. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here and you want to learn more about the tool and how it should be used and why it's so powerful in building consistency as a trader, then definitely get signed up for the free live training. Like I said, it'll be very soon, Thursday, August 4th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy this format, if you would like for me to continue to make these videos and just flat out help the channel by helping the YouTube algorithm, hit that like button, leave a simple comment below. Even if it's just saying hi, tell me what you traded today, tell me what you're watching tomorrow. So again, get signed up for that free training. Hit that like button, leave a simple comment down below. Everybody, thanks for watching. Take care, have a good one.